talked about Springer in the pregame. How I don't want to say demoralizing. How tough is it to start a game and the first pitch of the game is out of the ballpark? You know what? I, I mean, the momentum shifts right away, and um, um, <clears throat> and I don't even think he's. Well, maybe he did see um, um, Mejia. Mejia. Um, no, I was looking. I don't think he has. But he, anyway, I mean, he, he, you know what? He he put a good swing on it, and um, uh, that's what he does. That's that was the first time that he ever faced him. So you know, you were thinking that maybe he um, might look at a pitch, see release, you know. But you know, there's evidence, you know, when you you, you got the video and film, you, you can kind of jump ahead a little bit and 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 get comfortable with some things. So um, you know, he's a weapon at the top of the order for sure. I know there's no moral victories in big league baseball, but no. just what does it mean to you that this team played to the final out and got that close? Well, I mean, we, we talked about that and it was even conversation, you know, on the bench. Let's just keep grinding. Um, you know, when, when you put up a four run in the first and then a three run in the third, um, and then you look, zeros follow, you know, what you want to do is just kind of chip away. And, um, you know, when you look at the final line score, I, I mean, the line is, is is kind of crazy, you know, for us to out-hit them. Uh, we left more men on, um, but they scored more runs, and, and that's where it, it means the most. So, um, but for these guys to keep battling, you know, that's what it's about. Uh, that's what we talked about, who we are, and uh, playing the game the right way and, and competing at a high level um, daily. So, um, that's something that we expect. I know Oscar hit the home run late, but and he had four hits tonight. And he swung the bat pretty well in Chicago. Yeah. What have you seen that he's been doing better on this trip? Well, I, I, I think you see him and he's swinging his strikes. You know, he's getting the ball uh, uh, in the zone uh, and having good swings. I mean, you know, we're going to chase some, but for the most part, you know, he's been swinging his strikes and, you know, he's been making pretty good contact, putting the barrel on the ball. And, you know, when you think about it, when you put the barrel on the ball, things can happen. Um, and, you know, the night he had was pretty good. I thought he played solid out there in left field as well. Um, you know, running back out there again tomorrow and, 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 and let him go, you know, see if he can sustain. With Mejia, is it more than just one thing right now? Or what do you, you know, what are your just thoughts on where he's at? You know what? I, I, he, he's, he's in a development type stage um, tonight. You know, out of the three innings, you know, he had 75 pitches. Um, you know, the first inning, the 30 pitch count. Um, you know, he's strong enough, you know, to kind of endure and go back out. Um, but I saw where he was missing with his sinker on the inner half. Uh, and he was missing with his slider on the other side, on the outer half. So the adjustment for me is... You know, you got to get somewhere in between there where you can put it on the plate a little bit, and um, that's the development that he, he he's going to go through and, and adjust his next time out, hopefully. Tomorrow, for Owen Miller to come so close in the fourth inning to, you know, coming through with a big hit, uh, and then for him to get back up later in the game and, and really execute at the plate when he got the pitch he wanted, uh, what's that say about where he is? Well, I, and I think he's making some adjustments as well, and – you know, you, you, you get comfortable um, um, to the Major League Baseball game um, and, and you start to understand some things that you want to do. You saw your heart beat down a little bit. Uh, you know, he's got a good swing. You know, it, it's, it's, it's really on him to, you know, command the zone uh, much better and, and, and put that good swing on as many balls as he can. And, you know, good things are happening. So, um, you know, it's good to see him, you know, with those kind of adjustments on um, this game and, and, and hopefully keep continuing moving forward. DeMarlo, I think this is the first time that Cleveland is below 500 since like May 1st or something. Obviously, the schedule recently has been pretty tough. A lot of a lot of winning teams. How would you say how would you assess sort of the way the team has done with this kind of post all star break stretch that you've been on here with facing some tough teams? 
Well, I, I mean, the schedule is the schedule, and and we're definitely gonna play it. Um, but but I think instead of getting into the wins and losses, and you know, I, I know that's important when you look at the standings, but you know, consider you know where we had and some things that had taken place. You know, I like that we're being competitive and we're in games. You know, because you know the more of these type games we're in, I think as we go down the stretch and, you know, we will be better off in handling these situations. So, um, you know, it says a lot, um, but I often said that a big league team can beat a big league team. You know, I don't care where you are in the standings. Uh, I think it's important just to have the approach um, of competing and, and trying to, you know, respond to the situation that you're um, uh, face with at that point well it was good to see the 